Can I just stop the tape for a moment, folks? Something else I want you to understand is, see, they weren't coming with President Trump. Why don't we fly them back? Who sends a nine-year-old walk a month to the border with just a phone number and a hat? Biden, well, we're not going to send the... What, yeah, that's why they're coming. That's why they're coming. Because you're not going to... They should fly them home or put them on the bus home and say to the mother, you can't send your child to the border this way. On him, and we were able to call his family... His mother says that she sent her son to this country because she believes that you are not deporting uncomfortable Correct. minors like her son. That's why she sent him alone from Honduras. So, sir, you blame the last administration, but is your messaging and saying that these children are and will be allowed to stay in this country and work their way through this process, encouraging families yes. like Joseph's yes. to come? Well, look. The idea that I'm going to say, stop it, hold on, which I would never do, that if an unaccompanied child ends up at the border, we're just going to let him starve to death and stay on the other side. No previous administration did that either, except Trump. I'm not going to do it. All right, time up. Is there another option? What are the options? Children 9 and 11 show up at the border. I'm not going to let him stay there and starve. Okay, I guess that's an option. What's another option? Another option is you bring them in, which you're doing, which is encouraging more of them to come. What's a third option? Do we have a third option? I'm big on options. What are our options, right? I try to teach that to my children. What are the options? The option is we send them back home. Now, and this is wildly important, folks. And again, good evening. It is one after dark. Thumbs up, by the way. If you do enjoy one after dark, I hear from many of you that you do enjoy our uh, nighttime time. There's our friend Wolf and so many different people. Folks, the, the real answer here is they weren't coming because Trump was the deterrent. As I've told you, when you have a state trooper on the highway, you know, at one point they outlawed, um, in another state, they outlawed radar guns. So there was a police officer who used to stand outside his car, sit outside his car with a hairdryer, but it looked like a radar gun. The, the, the trooper doesn't have to get out of his car. How many times have you been on the highway and suddenly everyone starts slowing down hitting the brakes? Why? Because there's a Rhode Island State police car there. By, not, by just parking there, it's a deterrent. They, you know what? When you think, they don't even have to have anyone inside. They could take an old one and park it there, and it's a deterrent. Trump was a deterrent. Hi there, Farah. Hi there, Michael. Good evening, folks. <clears throat> Put them back. I agree with you, Marie. I have a friend of mine. Why not ship them back? It'd be cheaper. So, but in his mind, right? That's the talking point, you know. And I and I hate people that think that way. That so the, that's how you. This is commander in chief. That's what you think the options are. I I loathe people that think that way, right? You know, we, I've been having these battles with people of oh oh I'm supposed to show that there was massive fraud in the election. No. Why don't you just show there was some fraud in the election? Why does it have to be the either or? So we have to bring the kid in and then his whole family comes or I have to let him sit outside and starve to death. How about another option? Why don't you put him on a bus and ship him back to... There's no war going on. Folks, there's no war in Mexico. There's no war in Honduras. There's no war in Guatemala. What is Cicilline saying these other people? These are worn, torn country... No, they're not. There's no wars going on. Dangerous. What, our cities aren't dangerous?